Okay, so as you know, I usually do these little reviews on uh, electronic equipment. I decided to go to Walmart, and they had two push mowers that were for sale. One of them was only like 150 bucks, and then they had another one that was 185 This one has a Briggs & Stratton 450E Series OHV engine. Now, I know the first thing somebody's going to say is, oh, if it's from Walmart, it's cheap and shit and everything. The thing about it is I have a small yard. And I didn't feel like buying another Craftsman large power lawnmower. The one that I have is not good at serviced. So I decided, okay, I'm going to buy one of these. And this is it right here. So basically, it comes with the bars detached. It only comes with two of these uh, bolts so that you can um, attach these uh, handles to it. And it also comes with one chute. I guess you could call it shoe protector. There is no lawn bag. This thing is designed specifically for mulching. So basically whatever you cut, you're leaving it right there. So basically, let's put this son of a bitch together. It should only take a couple of minutes. And uh, then let's throw some gasoline into it, test out the engine. Of these lawnmowers always come with oil right out of the box. So this way they can sell the thing and all you have to do is add gas. So as you can see, we use a SAE 30, small engine oil. And it says do not overfill your engine with oil, so we're gonna make sure we don't do that. And uh, the gas I have, just gotta fold this out. So the bar feels about the same as the bar for my uh, Craftsman that I have. Yeah, see, I, this is a new house, so I have a lot of work to do. But as you can see, that's the yard back there. So eventually I've got to, um, you know, just mow the lawn. Then I have to even out that side over there and I'm gonna put a swimming pool back there. And, uh, you know, I got a lot of work to do because I have two houses to take care of. So, you know, I'm, I'm one of those 37 year old millennials who's got all of these first world problems where I've got two houses to take care of. Like, you know how people always like, oh, Manhattan and New York, those places are unaffordable. You can't afford to live there. Yeah, well, some of us can. You know, we're the people who actually stay. <laughs> you know, everybody else, they're, they're rushing out of here, but I ain't one of them, so. You know, I plan to get, like, one of those outdoor carpets for this back patio portion after I power wash this. And uh, then I'm going to get some lawn furniture, and I'm going to put it in here. Because me personally, I don't like these fucking bugs. So me personally, I want to stay right in here during the summer. I want to have my little grill so you can have cookouts. And bugs and mosquitoes, lock those bastards out. Can't get in. And then I'll have a little pool over there, so it'll be nice and, you know, cool for the scooch when the scooch comes over. But I gotta power wash this place. I gotta get rid of that window right there. But uh, that's that, so let me get this thing set so up. Definitely, if you buy one of these things, you're gonna want to get yourself an oil um, funnel because the oil intake is here. And the problem is, is it's kind of hard to get the oil in there. So what I'm doing is I'm using this to help me and I'm gonna pour the oil in there and then I'm gonna put my gas in there. Okay, so we got some gas in the bastard. We got some oil. Let's fire this bad boy up. Okay. So we're gonna fire this bad boy up. It's kind of like an inaugural, it's like an inaugural uh, starting of the engine. So we gotta hit that primer. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hit that primer a couple times. Start her up. Okay. Let's see what it can do. Shit, really? You can't handle this? You can't handle this? Maybe I should have got a bigger one. Oh, it's a twig. Start up again. Uh oh. Wait, I'm gonna have to do this with both hands. So I'm gonna do this first and then I'll make a short video clip after I'm done.
So, what about uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes later? I've uh, cut down this horrible weed forest down to snub. Now, the thing about it is, I know ultimately I'm gonna have to have some lawnscapers come back here. I'm gonna have to have, uh, you know, I'm gonna have to have a lot of wood removed because they, they must have chopped down an old tree before I bought this house and they left all the branches and shit. So this was my old mower right here. This was a Briggs and Stratton Craftsman. And this, as you can see, is a bigger, beefier engine. This was a 6.75. This is only a 4.5. And this was a definitely a more powerful. Um, I think I had this for about six years, maybe. And it definitely needs some service. And I know there's um, no primer on this thing but I was having trouble getting it started. So ultimately, I'm gonna take this one in for service. When I do that, I'll probably take my snowblower in for service so this way I can have it ready for the winter. But uh, I have to say, the Briggs & Stratton engines are pretty decent. Now this is $185. This one was only like 216. I got this from Sears a while ago. They probably don't make this model anymore. They probably have a newer, re-improved, uh, whatever model. But um, some people were saying on the Walmart forum that uh, the engine seized and they were saying that uh, some of them didn't work right out of the box. But as I just showed you, I took this right out of the box and I started using it and I was able to do this entire field. So, uh, I mean, it works. It's do it does exactly what it's supposed to do for $185. Now, if you have a small, small lawn, I could recommend going to Walmart and I could go recommend getting one of these two small mowers. But if you have a larger lawn, simply because you want to have so much power to cut through like things that you can't see in like, you know, tree bark and stuff that gets under the uh, lawn surface that you really don't see easily, I'd recommend you get a more powerful mower like this. And uh, this is actually a very good mower and um, it's a very powerful motor. So I know I'm not going to throw this out. I'm going to get this fixed. I don't know how long it'll take for me to get it into service. I don't know how long it'll take for me to get it fixed, but I'm definitely going to get this mower right here fixed because this mower was actually worth the money. And I'd say this mower right here is too. So, you know, uh, two lawn mowers. Um, I'll probably take one of these to the other house after I get this one fixed. But I think, I, I kind of think that, especially since it's not a whole lot of work that I have to do in this field that, you know, I could use that small black one. But uh, me personally, this mower right here is just a beefier, powerful motor. So um, this Murray, I, I could say, yeah, I could give it a maybe three stars out of five. It's average. It doesn't do anything that anything else doesn't do for the same price. So um, Walmart sells it. And uh, if you're in the market for a mower for the summer and you don't want to spend too much money, it's $185 plus tax.